my phone. Bollocks. I was in bed last night thinking about this knife that I'm making. Obviously that's what I think about when I go to bed. One of the problems with the knife is it's it's becoming so small that it's it's difficult to open and close. Um, that's to be expected really. But last night I had what I thought was a really cool idea for allowing me to to open the knife, you know, with a bit of a bit of friction opening the knife, but potentially a push button, the knife would flick closed with the push of a button, because closing it is a lot more difficult than opening it. So I'm gonna have a little stab at that idea just now and we'll see how it goes. I have just done some sketching and I think the idea might actually work. Take a look at this. As you can see, it's, we have a spiral going all the way out to the outside. Now I'll give you a better look at this by showing you the, how it will be cut. So as you can see, from a flat bit of titanium, we'll cut all the way out to there. What I should end up with is like a like a spring, you know, like the the kind of the way you you wind up like a toy mouse that goes all over the floor. You know, you wind it up and it's like a big coil spring. That's the idea. I have no idea if it's going to work. I think it will fail, like most of my ideas, but it will be interesting finding this out today. So the the concepts actually um, it worked. I didn't think it would work. That's right, it's like an anti-flick knife. Instead of it flicking out, you put force to open it and it flicks back in. There's a better look at the spring mechanism. Really, really ugly, but it works, that's the main thing. And so, when I flick that, I should really be doing it with my other hand so you can see the front of it. So, there we go. So the concept with this is that you use a bit of force to open the knife, like that, and because it's quite easy to open it's when, it's when, it's, when it's small, but to close it, it's a little trickier. So you use, you know, you'll use friction to open it like that, and then you won't just let go and it'll open, there'll, there'll be a lock mechanism. So you'll open it, it will lock, and then you'll push a button or something, and it will close again. I've not thought this through properly, obviously, but I have a sneaky feeling uh, it could work, it could work quite well. I think I'm getting a little bit sidetracked. Um, the knife where it is just now is, you know, like it's, it's opening and it's springing back in and I was just out for a drive there and I was thinking, what am I actually doing with that? Like, I want a knife that's gonna last forever, pretty much. Actually, no, forever. Um, outlive me anyway. Yet, I'm putting, a, I'm putting a, a spring mechanism in it, like this. So that spring mechanism there, I don't know why I'm even testing that, because that is something that is not gonna work long term. That will weaken and break. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to rethink things a little bit. And then you'll push a little button or something, and I'll just go, Ah, oh, broke. <laughs> right, 